You know, how you doing? It's day 42 already. So, last night, the suicide bowls, did they work? Did they not work? I'm going to give you an update a bit later on. But, little spoiler alert, I had a slightly better night's sleep last night. Uh, but it was freezing. It was really cold last it night, was wasn't it? Chilly. All my feet were like ice, so I kept putting them on Gary. <laughs> yes. Loves that, don't you? Yeah, one cold or cold. <laughs> <laughs> and what I do do is I like to wash my hands, obviously, if I've been to the toilet in the night, and get them nice and cold. And then Gary likes me to put them on his back, <laughs> don't you? Yes, babes. It is my favourite part of being woken up at three o'clock. <laughs> Dear. So, so we're feeling quite refreshed. It's quite early, and we're heading into Montgomery. But we've got a task to do this morning, haven't we, babe? Where, where are we going again? <laughs> right. So, so this morning we're going into Montgomery to go to the Home Depot. Yeah. Because online I've seen what I think is going to be the answer to our grey waste pipe problem. Oh, uh, hopefully, at long last. So yeah. everything we've tried so far isn't working because it's just not available. So. Um, so I've seen this thing and it's called a pool connector hose. Obviously we're not using it as a pool connector hose. Mm. But it's about three foot long, it's flexible and it's the right size to fit over our grey waste outlet tube. Mm -hmm. So if all goes well and they've got one in stock, that will be the end of our grey waste issue. Well, let's well. Let's hope. Let's hope. We're at Home Depot, let's see if we can go and find what we've been looking for for ages. We're at aisle 27. There's a couple of sort of choices that might do the trick. So everything, nothing's going to fit perfect, is it, babes? No, it's not. So have you got your little measuring thing? Oh, okay, so look at Gary's measuring thing. Yeah, it works. So it's just got to fit over that, hasn't it? It's got to fit over that. It's too small. What about that clear one there? Too small. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. What else did you see now? This on the other hand is... What, the one? Well, that is pretty perfect. Is that $69 for that? But it's, well, that's for the whole thing. Oh, it's an insulation. Oh, it's, not, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, flexible, it's not is flexible it? flexible enough either. So. No, it's probably not a great idea, that one, is it? This is, it's honestly the hunt for a bit of flexible host. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, it looks really flexy. It's definitely flexy, it's just too... Is it too skinny? Too have, skinny. You, have you put it on your measurement? So Gary's just nipped out to the van. We found this sort of like connector piece, which actually for a washing machine bit, but he's going to get a piece from the van to see if it'll fit this, then add it to a bit of hose from a washing machine or something to try and see if we can actually sort of, you know, mangle together something that would do for the grey water. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So Gary thinks he's found a bit of a, a solution that he might be able to work with. Haven't you, babe? Yeah, I have. I have. So that's that's the bit off the van. Right. That, that sits like that on the bottom of the outlet hose. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll use this here. I'll put tape around that so that I can screw that into that. Okay. And then I'll heat up that and stretch it so that it fits over that. And then, then it will give you a bit of flexible it gives hose. Me flexibility to put it where I have so I don't have to park exactly three feet away from the hole. I mean, to the millimetre in order for it to go in. Gary's got the black death gloves of death on and you're going to start to uh, put this all together I think aren't you babe? Try, yeah. So what are you going to do hon? Okay so so that is the that is the end of our grey water pipe. Okay. So obviously we need something that's going to fit onto there so my plan is I'm going to take this off here. That and that's the on. new bit we bought? No, no this is the old bit that attaches to that. And what I'll do is I will put that on there because that fits there with, with that. Uh huh. And I will put this then onto the new bit that we bought. Okay. And then with a bit of tape around there, that will fit onto that. And I can then leave it alone, go inside, pull the pull the the, um, the lever. Yeah. And that will release the water into there. Okay. This so looks that's, good. That's the plan. Okay. It's now all about melting that but heating it up rather than melting it so that i can stretch it so that it will fit over that okay and the way i'm doing that is using that as as that and as it gets warmer i'll just keep doing that as it gets bigger and then i'll be able to use that proof of the puddings in the eating as they say how's it doing babes it's working is it it is working yeah the problem we got here is and i've not seen this before is the actual dump is higher than the back of the wagon so 
gravity should be our friend here, but it's it will have a little bit of an issue at the end. But I mean, it's only a little bit; it's not a problem. But it's they're snaking in there flat. now. They're normally flat to the ground. They're not normally in a concrete block like this. This isn't black waste as well, is it? No, no, no. Black We're... waste. Done all the black waste. Oh, didn't I've even. Done that. Cleaned it all. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, this has done the job. Well done, Babs. <laughs> I've chopped the bits with that. Should be. <laughs> Results are in. The suicide bowls are lined up for examination this morning. Uh, and we'll see how we did. So this was a, a very small bowl. It did get quite a few. You can't really see them, but we can see them. But of course, they are no CMs. <laughs> Move along. And there's a few more. You can see those little flecks in there. There's a little bit more liquid in this one. And we've gone up in liquid amounts to see what works. So this one has quite a bit of liquid and there seems even more have gone into there. And then finally, the most liquid actually got the most little no -seums. There's lots of little tiny flecks in there. Whether you can see that or not, I don't know. Um, I was still itchy like mad last night, but we definitely captured quite a few. So it seems that the old wives trick works. Hey everyone, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a roundup of the no see action. So thank you very much everyone, first of all, for the lovely comments and suggestions. I really appreciate what, you know, everybody's concern. Um, I have been very fortunate to find a lot of different products as well today. Um, I can't get the ones I really wanted. There was a couple of suggestions and I just can't find those. Um, so I am going to stick with the Suicide Bolt. I've slightly upgraded to a Tupperware tub for it, um, mainly because I don't really like all those midges in like my porridge bowl. Um, but also the person we stayed with last night, our boondocker friend, gave me a little bit of this, which is um, really for poison ivy and stuff. But that sort of helped. It's a bit like calamine lotion. I bought myself some witch hazel today. That's been quite good. I also got some lavender Vaseline. I thought mm, they won't really like that because they don't really like lavender. And then we came across like this sex, this like um, packet of four essential oils. It's like $17. But I thought, oh, I don't care. I'm going to I'm getting them. And they don't like eucalyptus. However, I do. So I bought a little spray bottle, popped a bit of water, a couple of drops of that. And I've been spraying myself like this all day. And to be honest, it seems to be making a difference. Um, and on a bonus side, Gary quite likes the smell of eucalyptus. Go figure. <laughs>